Nellis County officials also pump putting pumps in the Shore Acres neighborhoods. People are also stocking up on sandbags. Some are telling us they are taking extra steps now to keep their homes safe. Pinellas County is expected to see at least five feet of storm surge. County leaders this morning adding the ground is already saturated from the storms that we saw last month. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio joins us live from one of the sandbag sites north of St. Pete. And Miguel, you've seen the lines all day long. Yeah, perhaps this is one of the uh, sites where it's actually calm at the moment over here, but I would say there's been a sense of fear throughout the neighborhood. We're close to the Edgemore neighborhood. In recent years, they've seen their homes flooded, most recently from Adalia, in the last couple of months from Debbie, and the major rain we got just a few weeks back. People here do not want to take any chances. We revisited with some of those living in the Edgemore neighborhood. We saw sandbags outside their homes. Some of their drainage systems are already filled with water from some of the rain we just got here moments Minutes ago, we spoke with some who've only been back in their homes for months after being flooded out from Adalia. Now they worry what Helene could bring. Concerned again that everyone's going to flood. I'm going to if I flood again, this will be the third time I have lost everything with my home, furniture, appliances, clothing, everything. Now, we did watch crews from the city try to drain some of their systems in place, but some here are skeptical if this is going to be enough for this storm, considering how bad some of the rain had gotten in recent months. The county says they are keeping an eye on the storm surge, and they warned people Helene could bring in several feet of water. Hours ago, the county did open up emergency shelters throughout here in St. Pete alone. You can find that at Gibbs High School and John Hopkins Middle School, as well as a last resort. Again, officials here just want to warn people the storm surge could be a danger to those living in those low-lying coastal areas. Live in St. Pete, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.